Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am starting a new project pen for 2023. I'm very excited. So what I did is I kind of combined a bunch of different projects into one. Like I took themes of projects that I liked the sound of, but I made it work for me. So I guess I'm calling this, well, you would have saw in the title, but <laughs> while I'm filming it, I'm not even sure what I'm calling it yet. Like um, a whole collection project pen, whole collection roulette, I don't know, I'm not sure. Because it's, like I said, a mixture of different things. So what I did is I chose 23 items for 2023. And I kind of chose them randomly. I used my Tiny Decisions app. I didn't do it on camera because I also wanted like to pick things strategically. So if I rolled something that I didn't want, I would roll again. And it just would have been like a really long process. But as it turned out, I actually only had to re-roll like two times. So anyway, um, I guess I'll try and do this in like some kind of order so i also made sure that i didn't get more than two products in the same category but not like like i could get more than two lip products but not more than two lip gloss or more than two lip liners if that makes sense and yeah i don't want i just want this to be like a relaxed kind of project and I think it's going to be fun. So I'm looking at my over here because that's where all my products are. I used them today. So I am wearing not everything on my face, but all everything I am wearing on my face is in this project. So let me start with... Actually, I'll start with fragrance because I did add fragrance to this project. Normally, I, I have actually never put fragrance in any kind of project before but I feel like my fragrance collection is getting a little a little much I don't have a ton of full-size fragrances but I have a lot of minis and a lot of samples so I'm hoping to get more use out of those so I did roll two fragrances oh <laughs> And I meant to check this before I started filming because I don't remember what this is called. Let me see. I know it's from Lancome. I think it's called Idal, but I have to see. Yes, I was right. So this is a little deluxe sample. It's so cute because it's like an exact replica of the regular size and it's a glass um, bottle. This is Lancome Idol Eau de Parfum, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm looking at the full size on the Sephora app. So actually, it comes in like a travel size that's $38. Then there's like a middle size, I guess, $78. And the big size is $130. So I am wearing this right now. I do like it. I smell like grapefruit, I think. But I don't think there's even grapefruit in this. But it has that like zestiness. But this is actually, so the keynotes are Spotless Jasmine Absolute, Radical Rose Essence, and Clean Capri Accord. I don't know what that means. But I do like this. I don't know if it, like it's not my favorite fragrance that I own, but I don't hate it. So I think I can just finish this up. I've only used this once or twice and I've already used that much of it. It was like pretty much at the top before. So I don't think it's going to be difficult. And it's one of those where you just take the cap off and you have to like dab it on. So that's how I applied it but yeah so this my goal for this one will be to finish and I'll have different goals for each product I think it's just gonna be whatever I feel honestly <laughs> the second well this is not a fragrance but it's in my fragrance 
category. It's actually an essential oil. It's a Young Living Bloom. But this is actually an essential oil that's already diluted. So you can use it directly on the skin. Um, this particular one, the Bloom, is meant to be used also in your skincare. So you could put drops of this in like your face cream or a lotion or anything. But I'm going to use it as a roll-on because I have like, um, well, it looks like this. It's a typical like essential oil dropper. But I have uh, roll-ons that you can put on these bottles. So that's what I'm going to do with this. This one is going to be harder to finish. It's pretty much, yeah, it's brand new. I don't think I've ever used it before. I only opened it to smell it. So it's full. It's 5 mLs. But like I said, it's an essential oil. So it's more concentrated and not something I'm going to like put on everywhere, you know. So I don't know about this one. Maybe I'll you. I'll say 10 uses on this and there's a little window here where I can see where I am. So like after 10 uses, we'll see if I made any sort of dent and then we'll go from there. But this, actually I didn't say, this has spearmint, geranium, and sacred franken frankincense inside. I love frankincense. Oh, it actually has also vetiver, blue cypress, divana, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, clove, jasmine, carrot seed oil, spearmint, geranium, and sacred frankincense. <laughs> so it's a lot of things mixed together. It smells very, there is like a floralness to it, but also like a woodiness. Anyway, I really like it. So I don't think it's going to be an issue to use. I just don't think it will be used up as quickly as the Lancome. So those are my fragrances. Now I guess we'll start like in the order I would apply products. So I did pull two primers and they're both very different so I'm happy about that. The first one is this Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I got this in a boxy charm like a long time ago. It says energize and rescue with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics, silicone free. So I did put some of this on today. Um, I had like, I had already put my sunscreen on and a cream and then I put this on. So I was like, I'm not going to put too much. So I only put it in like certain areas. But this reminds me a lot of one of my favorite primers, which is the First Day Beauty Coconut Skin. This is very similar because it has that coconutty smell. It's like a refreshing, kind of like a gel cream texture. I will say this one is not as thick as the coconut skin, but I still really like it. And I've only used this a few times, like in my time of having it. And it's already, it's already like down to here, which I find kind of weird. It is supposed to be one fluid ounce, so I guess we can say 10 uses on this also, and then see where I am. But I really like this primer, so I'm glad it's in this project. The other one is from e.l.f. It's actually the Poreless Putty Primer. I have not used this much at all. Um, in fact, that's all I've used so far. But I do remember really liking this when I used it. This is not something I would put all over my face though. So I might actually end up using this um, for like my pores and between my eyebrows here. And then maybe still use this one for the hydration aspect. So we'll see about that. Um, and this is just the original Universal Sheer. So I'm going to say 10 uses for this one also. For foundation, so I have a lot of different complexion products like skin tints, BB cream, tinted moisturizer, actual foundation. But in my um, makeup 
inventory. Everything for my face is called a foundation, so it's just random, whatever I, I get. But I ended up getting, actually, this Tarte foundation, which if you have been here since the beginning, this was in my project pan in 2021, right? And even before that, I've just been trying to use this app because this is the oldest foundation in my collection. So I would say this is already a little more, well, almost half empty. I'm not sure, like I don't remember how full it was to begin with, but if I look at it from the side, it's um, here. So all that's left is in the actual pot you can see that um so I don't know how long this is gonna take me <laughs> I would like to just use this up so I think that's gonna be my goal although I'm sure that would take me the whole year if not longer um but it's still fine like it's not expired or anything it doesn't smell weird I'm wearing it today I really like it actually for a foundation I like this one. It doesn't look dry or anything on me. This foundation doesn't exist anymore, by the way. It was called the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. I think they just repackaged this into another foundation. They repackaged into a pump, but I forget what it was called. And that one might even be discontinued also. <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to try and use this up. That is a very ambitious goal for me, but I think this needs to be out of my collection. Hopefully by the end of the year, because like I said, it's my oldest foundation. And then I rolled something a lot newer to my collection. The Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. So that's fun, because they're both very different products. I only use this once. <laughs> once or twice and honestly I can't remember what I felt about it. I know I tried it in a video so I'll try and remember to link that video below because it was like a trying rose ink video. I'm pretty sure I liked it but I don't really remember. So this one because it's basically brand new I'm gonna say 10 uses. I do like having this kind of product in a project pan because it's an airless pump so as you use the product like the bottom comes up so you can see like exactly how much product you have left so after 10 uses we'll see how it's going but hopefully I like it too but this is the shade 040 and it's one of these like you know when it like the pigment encapsulated in these little balls and then you blend it all out. Anyway, it's kind of gimmicky, but obviously I was into it because I bought it. So, <laughs> 10 uses on this one. I guess let's go for blush. So I ended up getting a powder blush and a cream blush, which is good. So the first one I got was from this Makeup Forever um, trio. It's, there's no name on it because you buy, or I don't even know if you can still do this, but you would buy like this compact and you could fill it with powders. So I actually have in here like a highlighting powder, not a highlighter, but like a powder, like for your under eyes or anything like that. This blush is what I rolled in, and but there's actually this contour shade in here as well and I used to really love this but I haven't touched it in forever and I am wearing the blush today it's not as vibrant as I thought it would be I don't know maybe I've just been wearing a lot of vibrant blushes lately so when I wear like a more you know basic color I feel like I can't see it but Anyway, I do really like these powders. They're extremely soft and like velvety, smooth, and yeah. So 
I'm excited about this and I'll probably end up using both of these products too just because it's you know in the same compact so this was a fun product to roll in I don't want to take these pans out right now because I'm afraid I'm gonna break something but I will leave the shade of this in the description box um, if it means anything because I know it's on the back but these pans are just so tight in there and I'm scared <laughs> right now so I'll do that later but that's one of the blushes oh and for uses on that I'm gonna say let's do 15 because that's an easy blush to wear I feel it's like a corally shade that goes with most looks so let's say 15 but the other one I rolled in is brand new to me. I haven't used it ever. I've only swatched it. It's the Cheek Slime from Freck Beauty. And this is actually a lip and cheek tint. I'm probably only gonna use it as a blush because I never use products like that in multiple ways. Um, but like I said, this is a cream blush it comes in this little squeezy bottle maybe i should be swatching these things right <laughs> so that's the blush it's very pretty yeah see it's not it's not that vibrant of a shade so on my skin it kind of just gives a little color but then this, if I remember correctly, is extremely pigmented. So I'm just going to put a little dot. <gasps> That's even too much. This is like red. Yeah, so it's like a gel texture. Oh, I'm kind of scared about this one. <laughs> I think what I'm, how I'm going to apply this is like that. So I'll put like a dot on my hand, blend it out, and then put my brush in the swatch and then put it on my skin and see what that does because this looks a little extreme that is basically a red blush in cream form or like liquid form so yeah <laughs> I'm sure I'll like it but I just I don't know how it transfers to the face because I haven't used it yet. So I think for this one, I'll only do a 10 use skull and see how I feel. Yeah, that kind of like stained my hand also. So that should mean it's long wearing, which is good. For bronzer, I only rolled in one and it's actually from this trio. This is the Almar Cosmetics Hydrating Complexion Trio. This was brand new when I rolled it in. It still had the plastic on top, but I did use this shade today. Um, that's the shade Cafe Con Leche. So that's going to be my bronzer. This is a highlighting powder like the one in the Makeup Forever. So I don't know like how much I'll use that. And then this shade looks very light, so I'm not sure. I'll probably use it just to try it. But I'm going to focus on this shade for a bronzer. It's actually the one I'm wearing today. It's pretty light, but that's okay for this time of year because I don't have a tan or anything. So yeah, and so far I like it. It blended out nicely and yeah, it's not too shimmery or anything crazy. So I think this will be easy to use. Let's do... 15 on this one too. 15 uses. <laughs> For highlighter, I rolled in two highlighters, both powders. So the first one is the Hard Candy Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. I think that's what it's called. This is actually not a full size. The actual um, full size of this product. I'm not sure if it still exists, but it was like this big. It's huge. So this is just like a mini. I got this in a Walmart beauty box when they did those um, a long time ago. And it looks like this. So you can swirl them all together or just focus on one area. I remember liking this. So that's what it looks like when I swirled it. It looked like this would be very dark, but 
when you swirl it all together, it yeah. tightens it up a lot. So it is like the name suggests, a rose gold highlighter. And it's very pretty. It's this here. So that's going to be fun to use. I'll say 10 uses on that because I do have another powder highlighter. This one from MAC. This is Double Gleam. I found this at Marshalls for a really good deal. <laughs> and I'm wearing it today and I love it. It's going to be super easy to use this one too. Because it's just like a basic champagne highlighter. Which is good for my skin tone. So I'm going to say 10 uses on this one too. Let me swatch it. So you can see that it's a lot lighter than the hard candy one. Um, yeah, but two nice highlighters in this project. I did end up rolling in two powders. I'm not really a powder person. But I want to use these and if I don't like them, I'll just pass them on to somebody else. And they're both minis, so it shouldn't be too difficult. This one was brand new when I rolled it in. It still had the plastic inside. But this is the KVD Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. This is from when the brand was still called Kat Von D, like it says. Kat Von D right there. So that's how old this is. <laughs> but I never used it because I was just always trying to use other things and I never rolled this into a Shop My Stash so it was brand new. I think this was a point perk from Sephora back in the day like when they had those they had like a whole set. It was I think this powder, the tattoo liner and like a compact mirror uh, maybe something else, but that's all I remember. I am wearing this today, and I have to say I don't hate it. I used it under my eyes, and it doesn't doesn't look dry or anything. And I even put some here because I felt like my pores were needing some, I don't know, like a little blur. And it looks pretty good. So, so far I'm liking this, which is honestly surprising <laughs> to me. And I don't know if I can use this up. There is actually tons of product in here. This is 1.4 grams. Is that a lot? I'm not really sure. I don't know. It just looks like a lot. Let's say, let's say 10 uses because I have another powder. Um, this one is from Becca. So obviously this product doesn't exist anymore because Becca doesn't exist. But this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So this was the one that has like a cooling effect on your skin. And I do remember using this and I know I don't like it under my eyes. So I'm hoping that I'll use this as like a setting powder for my face. Um, I don't know though. This might be one that I just end up decluttering because if it doesn't work with like this Tarte foundation or the Rose Ink Tinted Serum. I might just pass it on because I don't see what else I would use this for. But this one has, oh, it's very messy. It's all like out of the <laughs> packaging here. But it has a mesh that I'm trying to clean so you can see. There's a mesh screen, so it's one of those. And probably this is maybe expired, <laughs> but we'll just have to see. It looks quite powdery, even just on my hand, but I do have dry hands, so I don't know. So 10 uses on this if I don't declutter it first. <laughs> that was like everything for the face. Oh, I forgot about the concealer. So I only ended up pulling one concealer. My Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This has a lot of use on it because I use it as a spot concealer. I don't like this one under my eyes. I feel like it's too thick and it's just not for me under my eyes. Also the shade, I don't know. 
it's more like a face shade for me it's the shade 2.3 so should I just say 10 10 uses or should this no, yeah. no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say 10 uses just for the fact that I just said I don't wear it under my eyes so I'm still gonna have to use another concealer for under eyes so 10 uses on this one and then we'll see where we are it does look like it's almost empty but that's just how this packaging is there's like so much air in here because it has to fit like that big chunky wand like look all the product just comes out of the top so and it looks very messy i said this before i hate this packaging but i do really like the formula of this for a spot concealer so there's that one for eyeshadow I only ended up rolling one eyeshadow palette and it's my Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms. So if you guys are not new here, you know this is one of my favorite palettes. So when I rolled this one in, I was like, perfect. Because this is just perfect for any kind of look. This could be like an everyday palette. This could be very neutral depending how you go with it. I, I'm wearing it today and I am actually wearing the green shade. I think I haven't used that shade much but it's really pretty. It ends up looking more of like a bronze on my eyes. Not as green as I thought but this palette is just so easy to use. It blends super easily. I love these two shades. This one is the shade I use always for the transition and this one for an inner corner highlight. Yeah, every time I use this palette, I'm happy with my look. So, and it smells really good. It's like a peachy scent, I think. Like a peachy tropical, I don't know. It's just nice. So, this will be no issue for me. But for you skulls, what would I say? I don't think I'm going to pan any of these shades, that's for sure. <laughs> 20? Should I say 20 uses? Yeah, let's go with 20 and then see what I feel. So 20 uses on this one. So sticking to eyes, I guess, I did end up rolling in a black eyeliner. This is from Tristique. It's in the shade Santorini Black Sand. This was in a Shop My Stash recently, but I maybe used it once or twice because I never use black eyeliner. So I'm hoping I might find a use for this. Um, I'll try it on my waterline um, or on my upper, on my lid, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I just don't tend to reach for black eyeliners but hopefully since it's in this project it might force me to use it should i do five five uses on this it's brand new basically um let's say five uses because even at five that would be a lot for me for a eyeliner use goal so i'm gonna go with five and for brows i rolled in my patrick ta shaping wax so i'm actually wearing this today but i don't think i i don't know if i got enough on so this is a product it's like a soap brow so you have to wet the the product for it to get onto your spoolie i do have the spoolie that goes with this so that's how i use it so what i did because i don't know if you can see this see how the pan is like warped and almost about to fall out of this component that's because i used to spray my setting spray directly in the pan and i think i shouldn't do that anymore so what i did today is i actually sprayed the spoolie and then i rubbed it in the product and then i put it on my brows so i mean my brows feel like they're they feel like they're they have gel in them Basically, they're not like crispy or anything, which is good, but I also think I didn't like pick up much product at all. So yeah, but I do like this product. It's just, I think for my preferences, I'd rather have a gel 
like in a tube, like my Kosas Clear Brow Gel. But I'm going to use this, I'm going to say 10 times and see where I'm at. Because I don't know, this kind of looks like it'll just break <laughs> before I could even use the whole thing up. So let's see what happens after 10 uses on that. And I think we're down to, okay, lips and setting spray. So for lips, I rolled in two lip liners. So I reached my max on lip liners. Um, I have my MAC Soar. This is basically brand new. <laughs> I mean, I've used it a lot, but it's just, I don't know, it doesn't look like I have much at all. I'm wearing this today. It's a really nice, like, basic mauve shade, I would say. More, maybe more pink leaning. Um, so this could go with tons of different lip products. But the other one is going to be more difficult. This is the Bodyography Lip Pencil in Rosewood. This one is like a vampy, purpley shade. So I don't know about this one. That doesn't look like it would go with much else other than lip products that are similar shade to that. So. I will try and use this, let's say, 10 times for each of these and hopefully I'll find a way to use this. If it was fall right now and I rolled in that rosewood, I'd be like, oh, that's fine. Because this is a shade I wear in the fall, but I don't know, in the winter and then coming in the spring, I don't know. That's going to be a hard one, but I'll try 10 times. And then for other lip products, I rolled in two lip glosses. I rolled in my Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. I love this um, lip gloss in the spring and summer. It smells like mint. I love the Marc Jacobs lip gloss formula. I'm so sad they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Um, but I, yeah, I'd love to use this one more because I have so many of these. Yeah, so that should be easy enough to use. It looks quite vibrant in the tube, but it's really more sheer on the lips, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, let's do 10 uses on that, simply because I have so many lip products. I'd rather rotate through them than try and, like pen a whole lipstick, so a whole lip gloss especially, so 10 uses on that. And then this one was very exciting to roll in because I just got this. I hauled it in my, in part one of my beauty haul. This is from Lethal Cosmetics. It's the Lumen lip gloss in the shade Nova. And this could be my new favorite lip gloss. I'm wearing it today. It feels amazing. If they had called this a lip oil, I would agree because it is so like thin but yet glossy and there's no like stickiness or thickness to it at all. I am really loving this and this shade is going to be perfect for anything. So today I'm wearing it over the MAC Soar. And it's just a really nice, like, neutral lip combo, and I'm loving it so far. So this should not be any, there shouldn't be any difficulty using this one, but I'm still going to say 10 uses, just because I have two lip glosses in this project, and like I said, I, I'd rather rotate through my lip products. So yeah, that's my story <laughs> with those. Oh, and the last thing is setting spray. I rolled two setting sprays, which is fine because I have way too many setting sprays. I am on a setting spray no buy, although if you saw my drugstore <laughs> try on haul, I did break my no buy simply because I have to have the NYX Plump Right Back 
and it came with the plump finish setting spray. But anyway, I rolled in two setting sprays. This one is from In Beauty. This was in my shop, my stash. I think the previous one, so before the one I have now, before all this stuff. This was my setting spray and this was brand new when I rolled it in to my shop, my stash. It still had like a plastic on it and everything and now it's down to here. So this is a dual phase product so you have to shake it before you use it. And it's the Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. It's supposed to set makeup, energize, and revive skin. So sometimes I use this just by itself because it's supposed to like hydrate and you know just refresh but it's also meant to set your makeup so it could be before or after your makeup or even when you're not wearing makeup so this is not one that I'm worried about at all. I think I'm only gonna say 10 uses for this again because I also have this setting spray um, from Peach and Lily. This is brand new I got it from Boxy Pop-Up, I believe, because I kept seeing people raving about this and I think it was like $5, so I snatched it up. It's the Glass Skin Veil Mist Hydrate and Glow pe with Peach Extract and Vita Complex. This is a beautiful mister. I'm wearing it today. Let's just put some more, even though I'm already... I already applied this, like, many times because I used it while I was doing my base products and then I used it to set my face but let's just do it again so I don't know if you saw how like um see how it's like I don't know it's like the name says a veil mist because it actually like coats your face and I love that in a setting spray so this one will not be difficult to use um because of the packaging I can't see where I'm at but it, I mean I like I said it was brand new before so I don't think I can go with like a measurement goal on this one so I'm gonna say 10 uses again I'm not worried about like using this one up entirely because it's newer to my collection so yeah let's say 10 uses so that was everything for this project I'm very excited to use up well to get more use out of these things so you will see these products again because I'm gonna put them in my next shot my stash because if not I won't reach for them. They have to be like in my face and some of them will go in my everyday makeup drawer. You will see more about that in my shop my stash video which I will hopefully film maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I hate this time of year because it's already dark at like 4 and then I can't film because I don't have like studio lights so Anyway, <laughs> all that to say, you will be seeing these products more. And I guess I'll, I don't know how it's going to go for updates on this. I guess I'll only film an update if I have something to roll out. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. So it might not be monthly, but hopefully it will be, you know, we'll keep it moving. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you guys are doing a project pan, let me know below. It's always fun to see what products other people are panning. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!